good pair of pliers. I like a long handled pair of pliers uh, to do this. And then you got your quarter inch line, your uh, capillary tube. And what I did here too, is I did two different cuts. I did more of a flat cut on this capillary tube. So I'm gonna do this twice, pass both of these around. Then I did an angled cut on this one on my right hand. It looks like a hypodermic needle. So that's usually, a lot of guys prefer that. You just gotta be careful. When you do that hypodermic, it opens up the, the inner diameter or the inner uh, uh, the portion of the line, but uh, it'll, it'll pierce you. It's like a freaking Capri Sun straw on steroids. So you take your cap tube, you're gonna put it in there. And I know I'm kind of holding this awkward so everybody can see. You're gonna hold it on one side of that line, right? And then you take your pliers. Now make sure your cap tube is sanded before you stick it down in it. You shove it down there and crimp it, and then you're all like, oh crap. So all your fittings are gonna get sanded, male and female. Not on the inside at all. We don't solder or sand on the inside because we don't want debris and contaminants getting in on the inside. But we want the outside to be as clean as humanly possible. Clean copper, the, the copper, the steel, everything. So wherever you're making joints it needs to get sanded down, all right? Male and female. So when I meet my male and female, here's my male, here's my female. Both are sanded on the outside, put them together, all right? So when we crimp this, take this and that's not the best pair of pliers for this, but it'll work. See how I, I'm only pinched on half of that line? Then just grab it and squeeze it, and sometimes I'm gonna take that back and redo it. Again, I'm like a little bit longer handle of pliers. There you go. So there's one. There's your straight cut going across the top. So yeah, I like leverage. I mean, I'll take any mechanical advantage I can get. So go to this one here. Again, it's gonna be offset. The cap tube's gonna be on one side of the line. Come through, crimp it, there you go. And look, you can see the different style cut as those go around. Okay, so two different ways. Anytime you cut a capillary tube, you gotta make sure you look down that you did not crush or, or uh, can't close that inner diameter because you just made a restriction at that point. So why a lot of guys like that cut that's coming around, 